Hey, what's up? It's Zeus, and it's been a couple of days. In the last video, we talked about the developers' discussion and all the cool changes coming our way. Very grateful for those and the quaint fates. They're gonna help out, of course. However, um, I have been pretty scared about our, not just my, but our account security, as well as our gaming experience, especially the free-to-play audience that got... Um, you know, Gadget Impact, the, the game of the year. Just because they won the game of the year does not mean everything is buttery smooth. There are a couple of things that they could fix, of course, which I mentioned being account security. Not only security of the account, but privacy as well. Yo. This spaghetti needs weak on spaghetti. Now, this is not going to be a negative Nancy video. Just wanted to talk to you guys about how I had, just today, five attempts Five attempts for somebody not only to find out my email account, um, it's not my business email account that you see on YouTube that you can see for all the content creators if you want to um, directly contact them for business. It's one of my old email accounts that I registered to play Genshin Impact and five emails just today after I was laying in bed and I checked out Reddit. There was a thread with 5,000 upvotes about if you connected your email, it is publicly visible to everyone. Now, this is a little bit different than what I was experiencing because someone was actually trying to hack in to my uh, MiHoYo account. Not only that, they also tried to get into another email account that was being tied to the email that was associated with Genjin Impact, one of my Genjin Impact accounts. Now, this didn't happen to my main account but it's happening to pretty much the other content creators. I've had also people in my Patreon who are also experiencing these things. So I just want to let you guys know about, once again, the importance of securing your account. Not only your account, but your friends as well. And um, we need to remind, you know, MiHoYo about this, guys. I know, like, for those that did not experience this, you may be thinking, well, maybe, you know, Zeals or, you know, someone else, some other content creator were, li were clicking on links. I don't think that's the case. I do secure my PC and um, I have a separate PC to do, you know, <laughs> any other shady shit. Anyways. Yeah, you get the point. Um, now, this Reddit post isn't talking about the security issue, but it's talking about the privacy issue, which is people can find out your email account. Now, this affects everybody, including myself, who have linked their accounts to their emails. So this is pretty much how it works. If you've gone to Genshin Impact website, there is a community forum. If you've posted there, then people know your username or, you know, you, you've you shared your username or something to your friends or something like that. or anywhere online with the username people can go to forgot password part of mihoyo account page and then if you use the username it will show a censored email account but however those internet savvy people with developer tools can easily find out the email account by uncensoring it so that just adds on another layer of privacy issues that other you know, major online games or even website services even some companies like some of my sponsors they have a team of like seven and they still have, you know, you know, they have privacy thing under lockdown. Like they got it under control, but what the heck is going on here? You know what I mean? Yo, like in the end guys, fortunately my account, one of my accounts did not get breached. Um, I don't know how they found out my uh, email account once again, but hey, it's, it's safe because I have that email account with a two factor authentication. Is it even two layers or even more? I don't know, but it's pretty well protected. Whether you spent precious money or more precious than that time, make sure you guys um, yeah, bind your account to something very safe. For now, um, email is still safe, but people can still find out your email for privacy reasons. This is kind of eh, but yeah, make sure you guys bind it to, uh, I did it with Twitter as well. So things like that, take care of yourselves. And the next thing that I want to talk about is what do you guys feel about constellations? I opened my stream four days ago on Twitch and I asked my viewers how they felt about MiHoYo balancing around constellations. Constellation even one, two, two, six. How they feel about that. And the overall players, of course, the free to play were a little bit concerned about that, to say the least. It feels that as more and more limited characters come into play, like we have Venti, Klee, Shore, um, you know, constellations like constellation zero venti is still 
busted, right? <laughs> Klee is fine, um, I feel. But after Child, I know you can argue that C0 Child is broken, and he is. But not just C6, but C2 and C4 as well, added on top of that, right? And of course, the talent boosts, adding on more damage. And now with Zhang Li, you know, a highly debated character right now in the community. And I'm frankly just done. <laughs> Outside of my channel, I've seen a lot of, you know, back and forth, things like that. But yeah, the community is pretty split on Zhang Li. People coming to say on, you know, on their videos or Reddit that C6, like they feel that Zhang Li was balanced around C6. At C6, he feels really, really good. And of course, there are people who at C0 makes him work and that's great and all, but in the future, where is this gonna head, right? So we gotta talk about like Ganyu as well as Albedo and Ayaka, Zhao. I know there are huge Ayaka as well as Zhao fans, including myself. And yes, some people do have the luxury to, you know, wail out in a video game and obtain Constellation 6. And of course, C6 is gonna feel well. And is it because that the character is being balanced around Constellations or are they being balanced around Constellation Zero? When it comes to the leaks, I wanna talk about them without the numbers. That's what I did with Zhang Li. I wanna do the same with the future characters because always the numbers can change. Um, the talent upgrade materials, things like that can be also changed. Ascension bonuses can change, we never know. But I just wanna talk about the Constellations in the future going onwards and whether the constellations like pretty much change the character how you play the character and how the character plays out in a team as a content creator and a spender i can you know c6 a waifu that's hot or a cute boy husbando like zhao i can but i don't like seeing things just being balanced around c6 and i get it right they gotta make money and things like that but there's a thing right c0 kaching versus c6 kaching obviously c6 kaching will do more damage but is c6 kaching gonna be like game changing is it bringing some kind of like utility or a buff that you know just totally is changing like the end game side of things so i just want to talk about that as we go along from here and just openly discuss it without the numbers, just what it could do, what it could do, and um, what it would be without the constellations. Because I feel personally that Mihoyo is balancing around constellation six. I don't know how you guys feel. Let me know down below. That's It's an open discussion, all right? That's what I, I want to talk to you guys about. That's what I want to talk to my um, Twitch viewers about, and we had a very good discussion. Um, at the end of the day, once again, Mm, because they want to spike the revenue, right? I think that they are going to still balance around Constellation 6. So for the free-to-play audience, a C0, whatever character it's going to be in the future, may be a little bit um, weaker on the number side or utility side. So I just want to let you guys know about that because some people play to just collect like me some people only summon because they love their voice line i know that sounds so weird but that's me i only summon because of aesthetics some people they have saved and saved because they want their team to get a big upgrade as a free-to-play player there are plenty of reasons why people summon and at the end of the day once again i'm a person that summons because i just like them whether the voice line or the voice actress voice actor they're so cool they could literally do one damage i'd still summon them but there are people who want to make the best investments and that's what happens when i do stream or in the youtube comment section as well people ask is should i go for this or this should i say for this or this so in the future we'll be talking about um characters with the constellations um and things like that before they're out but once again we're not going to talk about too much of the numbers but how they may feel what kind of role they may have just an early glimpse not a conclusion whatsoever like we always do in this channel anyways guys that's pretty much gonna be it let me know down below what you guys think this is just an open discussion once again and as always be safe out there physically and protect your account as well i know some of you guys have been asking where the hell have i been and i'm here not dead not hacked almost but i'm here so thank you so much for your concerns Thank you so much once again. I'll be doing the free-to-play players summons 
very very soon I'm, ex I'm excited for that if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff or interested in more genjin content make sure you guys subscribe to the channel smack this video like leave a comment down below of what you guys think i'll see you guys in the next video your boy zeal's out peace